Today is October 17th. Uh, we are going to plant our garlic. It's um, starting to frost at night here in Montana and mid-October is the perfect time to plant garlic. We have some hardneck garlic. It's a beautiful, has a purple streak in it. Uh, this is actually our second year growing this variety. So uh, what Carly has here is our harvest from this summer, our garlic, still has even a little bit of dirt on it. And what she's doing is pulling those cloves out and taking that outer layer off and then they're going into our container here. And so we're going to be planting the largest, healthiest looking ones. Uh, and if you have any skin showing, like if they've peeled off like that, we're going to eat those. You definitely don't want to put those in the ground. They will um, just rot. And so you want ones that are secure in the case, the large ones, nice and healthy and firm. And Riley has measured out, this is our, one of our raised beds. Uh, we just uh, dug up all of the weeds and we've enriched it with some um, compost leaves that we had that are one year old leaves. So it's just this beautiful, rich supplement. And then once we plant them, we will be covering the bed for the winter um, with more grass clippings or even our old corn stalks, something to really protect the bed. The raised beds are great because they warm up um, early in the spring and give us a little bit of a longer growing season easier to take care of the weeds as well. Um, so Riley has measured here every six inches. We're gonna go at least three inches in because we want the bulbs to be able to grow. And he has a shovel that has measurements on it uh, three inches down, so between two and three inches down. And every six inches we're going to uh, go ahead and plant one of these. And then on the actual little garlic, uh, just to show you, this is the bottom. Go ahead and dig one, Riley. We'll put it in there. This is the bottom, that's where the roots will grow, and this tip is uh, where the stem and the tops will come out, so always make sure you plant it just like that in the ground. And then uh, what we find the most important thing to do uh, when you do plant something over the winter is to make sure you mark the bed or write yourself a note um, so that in the spring you don't start digging up all of your hard work. We tend to plant things in a different spot every year and we co-plant quite a bit. Um, so a lot of times we'll have two or three, maybe even four things in a bed. Um, so we always want to make sure we know where everything is. And so this uh, is what we look like in the fall. We are turning over the beds. <laughs> this is where our garlic was last year. And we still have Swiss chard growing. Uh, we want that to go to seed. Uh, we'll, we'll harvest those seeds and then sprout them over the winter in the in the kitchen and then we'll also use the seeds for next year. We also have a few radishes left that are still flowering. We'll see if they survive. We'll steal those seeds as well. And then we still have Brussels sprouts, which are doing great. And a few other things, some herbs. Our strawberry patch is doing great. We actually have some of our strawberries covered uh, because they started to bloom and produce strawberries. We've never had that happen in the fall, but it's something fun that we're going to, to enjoy uh, if we can keep them warm long enough. So now Riley's covering those. Good job, Riley. Thanks. What a gorgeous afternoon to be in the garden, huh, Carly? We're pretty lucky. So while we're planting our garlic here, we have a, we have a little friend. <laughs> Look how big he is. Oh, his season's almost over. I wonder if he knows how cold he's about to get when it starts to freeze. But we're not usually a big fan of spiders, but when they're in their own element, they sure are a healthy part of the ecosystem. So we just have to enjoy him. He's probably one of the last we'll see this year.